There are three types of muscles, cardiac, skeletal, and smooth muscle. Each type has distinct functions as well as structural characteristics that can be identified histologically. Cardiac muscle makes up the majority of tissue found in the wall of the heart. Each mature cardiac muscle, or cardiomyocyte, is relatively short, with a length approximately 85 to 120 micrometers long, and a diameter approximately 15 to 30 micrometers. Histologically, cardiac muscles have quite a few unique characteristics that make it easier to differentiate them from skeletal muscles. Unlike skeletal muscles, cardiac muscle fibers are branched cells with only one to two centrally located nuclei. Also unique to cardiac muscles are the intercalated discs, which are the specialized junctions between neighboring cells that allows the cells to have synchronized contractions and pump blood out of the heart efficiently. Let's take a look at a longitudinal section of cardiac muscle cells that was stained with hematoxylin and eosin, or H and E for short. If we compare cardiac muscle cells to skeletal muscle cells, we can see that there are some key differences between the two muscle types. Skeletal muscle cells don't branch and have multiple nuclei that are peripherally located along the cell, whereas cardiac muscle cells are branched and usually have just one or occasionally two centrally located nuclei. If we look at a cross-section of the cardiac muscle, it's easier to see that the nuclei are centrally located. Both cardiac and skeletal muscles have cross striations that are perpendicular to the muscle fibers, but they're much more prominent in skeletal muscles. Also unique to cardiac muscle cells are, as we mentioned, the intercalated discs that connect the neighboring cardiomyocytes. With an H and E stain, the intercalated discs are seen as thin, slightly darker lines that are perpendicular to the direction of the muscle cell. In order to see the intercalated discs better, a section of tissue can be stained with a specialized stain such as phosphatungstic acid hematoxylin, or PTAH for short. Although both the cytoplasm and intercalated discs will stain purple, the intercalated discs will be a significantly darker purple in comparison to the surrounding cytoplasm. Whether the section of cardiac muscle was stained with H and E or PTAH, lipofuscin will be seen as the yellow-brown pigment granules found near some nuclei. These granules are residues of lysosomal digestion, and they're considered to be a sign of wear and tear that accumulate in cardiac muscle tissue with age. Helping current and future clinicians focus, learn, retain, and thrive. Learn more.